today, uh, right behind me, you can see that the first CROW module to be shipped from Fermilab is heading out to Slack. So this is the first LCLS2 CROW module that's been shipped from uh, either of the partner labs, either here or at JLab. It'll arrive at Slack hopefully in a couple days, uh, unloaded, tested there to assure that it meets the acceptance criteria, and then uh, it'll get installed into the Linux as the, one of the first CROW modules to be put in the new LCLS2 Linux, which is being built right now. In total, we're going to build 22 CROW modules. Uh, there's 19 of this variety of the 1.3 gigahertz and then three of the 3.9 gigahertz, which is a crown module very similar to this. Cavities are smaller, they're higher frequency, and, in, and the length of the crown module is about half the length of this one. This transport fixture that we have behind us was designed to be able to do both varieties of the crown module. We're very excited to see this go. This is, as I mentioned, a real team effort dating back multiple months uh, to when the CROW modules just started going together. Uh, and there's been a lot of people, both in technical division and accelerator division, who have been a part of the success of getting it to this point. Uh, the assembly of the CROW modules, uh, the testing of the CROW modules, and now the shipping of the CROW modules uh, are really uh, a combination of efforts from a, a group that's probably 80 to 90 people strong. And uh, from, the, from this perspective, the last few days have been very interesting since this is the first one that's shipping out for us. There's been a lot of things that we've had to work through, a lot of issues, but I think a, a real strong combined effort between the crown module assembly techs as well as the uh, engineering team has really gotten us to this point where we're ready to ship this one a little bit ahead of schedule actually from where we thought we'd be this time a week ago. We'll finish our last CROW module tested by hopefully May or June of 2019 and then it'll take them another few months to install the final CROW modules. So sometime in uh, at the end of FY 2019 or early FY 20 um, we, sh we would hope that all the crown modules are installed in the tunnel. And the real sigh of relief uh, comes when you have all of these installed and they're actually operating, commissioned and operating in a, in a working Linux.